Today, we are fusing the world's most popular AI developer tool, GitHub Copilot, with the world's most popular editor, VS Code. And we are offering a free version to more than 150 million developers who use GitHub. We are introducing GitHub Copilot free in VS Code. It's a real game changer. Starting today, GitHub Copilot is available for free. So GitHub Copilot is available for free. If you have got a Visual Studio code, the editor, IDE, and also an active GitHub profile. So if you have got both these, then you can use GitHub Copilot between Visual Studio code. I mean, you don't have to use cursor. You don't have to use a bunch of other things if you are okay with this. In this video, I'm going to break it down for you. What is the catch with which you can use GitHub Copilot for free and also how you can use it for free if you have got Visual Studio Code. The very first thing that you have to understand here is that they've got a couple of plans and the plan, the free plan is what they're enabling for all the developers who are using Visual Studio Code with GitHub account. So this includes 2000 completions per month and 50 chat requests per month. And the second thing is, if you have got the pro account, then that is a 10 US dollar per month. And for the first 30 days, it is free. And then this comes with slightly more um, options that you have got. Also, one thing to notice is if you have got a verified student email ID or a teacher email ID, like a uni email ID, or you are a maintainer of a popular open source project, then this account should be ideally for free. So I had this plan a few months back, probably a year back, somewhat uh, GitHub decided that my open source project was not popular enough for me to use it. So I am not on any plan now. So I want to show you how you can use it. The very first thing, click get started. Once you click get started, you can see that it is available here. So you have to go install Copilot in your favorite code editor. So I'm going to do it for Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. And when I open Visual Studio Code, it is going to ask me uh, that you want me to install. So uh, let me open a window for you. So I'm going to keep it here. Okay. So after I keep it here, I'm going to say install Visual Studio Code, open Visual Studio Code. And you can see it says open this click open. And once you click open, ideally, it is going to install this extension. So you can see the AI uh, Copilot AI pair programmer to write code faster, smarter. There are a bunch of things that you can start with. One is the AI powered suggestions, the suggestions that you get. The second one is you can chat. This chat is what is Microsoft is saying that you get up to 50 chat requests per month. So you can mark everything done. Once you mark everything done, technically you should be able to get started. So I'm going to go search for Copilot, restart to update. I'm going to restart to update. So my Visual Studio code is being restarted at this point as we speak and then you can start using it. So one thing that a lot of people say that cursor is primarily good because it has got Claude 3.5 so on it. So if you are like somebody who's been actively using cursor, then I would strongly encourage you to give this a try because there has been a push within Microsoft to make you use GitHub Copilot. So I'm going to go open a simple uh, Python, sorry, Python file, I have to open a Python file. And after a Python file, so you can ask Copilot anything. So you have got a couple of models. One is you have got Claude 3.5 Sonnet preview. And the second one is GPT 4.0. And this is what you get in this particular environment. So I'm going to just simply go ask Copilot. I want to write an XGBoost model um, to predict if a given text is, um, is a positive sentiment or negative. I I want probably an ensemble of XG boost and also Bert, maybe Roberta, I should be specific, Roberta. So I'm going to send this to Claude, which is a preview at this point. I'm going to send this. So it, you can see it is saying I have to enable this. Okay, click enable. And after that, I've selected enable. Maybe I have to send the message again, send the message again. Click generate. So, okay, it is going on. As you can see here, it started doing this. 
and it is creating a function it is all happening here so it is creating a class here so there is this sentiment ensemble so you can see it's using pandas i'm going to i'm going to just blindly accept it for now okay for the sake of the discussion just want to see if it is doing the right code a uh, very basic check you've got a sentiment ensemble there is a roberta embeddings train and predict i want to see where the xg boost is xg boost where are you okay train xg boost on roberta embeddings that's quite weird um okay so there is this roberta model then there is this xg boost and what are they doing after this okay okay i get it so basically okay so what i wanted is something slightly different but you know i i shouldn't fault because i had slightly a crappy prompt so i wanted an xg boost model and a roberta based model and then ensemble alert like do majority voting or something to finally tell me positive or negative but what github copilot has decided to do with clot 3.5 sonnet is that um, it can actually give me a code in which xg boost model is built on top of roberta embeddings okay it's okay with the miscommunication i'm a bad communicator but the point here is that you could successfully use up to 2000 right up to 2000 completions and also 50 chat requests per month using either gpt 4o or clot 3.5 sonnet without paying a single dollar i think this is great if you are a student you don't have a student id if you are a beginner who do not have heavy workflow where uh, you have to always rely on these ai agents and the second thing is if you have got an existing code and once i'm here what uh, github copilot lets me do it i can go here probably like select all these things and then say okay probably this is a time for us to refactor this so i can use copilot and then either chat with copilot with this entire file as a context here as you can see here so this is very important if you have got a project file i think this is exactly where it differs from using chat gpt or cloud within their own environment and using it within visual studio code because you can add these files um as a as a context to the prompt that you are giving and then you can basically say all the other things for example i can go here and then say um i can give this entire thing and then say explain how this code is working so it's taking everything that i have given and then it says the provided you code defines a class this it is using this it is using this it is using this and i can just go click here and then see all the information that i want about this code so one you can extensively use this for let's say i've written a code you want to write a blog post second you want to create a documentation or simply you just want to write code you can use this for all these things um i didn't want this to be like a tutorial for github copilot let me know if you want like an extensive github copilot tutorial but for now don't miss the opportunity just go grab it if you are not paying for cursor or any other ai based coding assistant if you are already paying maybe you are a star programmer 10x programmer 100x engineer but if you are not use the free option from microsoft github copilot see you in another video happy prompting